My name's Dirt Diggler. This is my wiener. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Just like that. Holding that, that holding that cam. Could you imagine packing one like that? Jesus Christ. <laughs> we are so off track, man. All right, let's get back to work. So, we got the one and only, probably can't see it through all the grease, but FRP Tomahawk Cam. And we're gonna try to snake this bad boy in the challenger so here we go it's kind of a it's kind of like a gymnast gym, gymnastic trick here because kind of got to go in at an angle with the car there's just enough room to do it don't take our time going in And I'm going to get this bolt, lightly thread it in because it kind of gives me a little bit of leverage, kind of like a handle to use. And then, let me scoot this thing up here. I thought. Oh, there we go. Now, that little dial pin, we need to turn the cam and point that pin towards the top. I'm going to try to see if I can do it with my hand here. Here we go. There we go. That pin will line up with our cam phaser, which basically should be at 12 o'clock. Piston, uh, number one piston right here, should be all the way up. And again, the, we did the down and dirty cam install method. Stuffed a rag under the bottom of the timing chain to hold it up on the sprocket on the crank. That way it don't fall and come out of time. And we marked our chain and our cam phaser, obviously. But as long as the chain don't fall off the bottom and your cam pin is at 12 o'clock, pistons at the top, cylinder one, you're good to rock. So that's going to be it right there. I'm going to take this bolt back out. Zorro officially has a Tomahawk cam now. And uh, we're going to get the phaser, uh, get our plate on, get our phaser on, um, get our chain time and tensioner and all that stuff back on basically get our chain and everything completely back together um, and then that way we can rotate this motor and clean the top of all these other pistons and uh, we're getting there